inflation is solely a function. If you ever hear somebody say inflation is a function of debts or deficits, they're dead wrong because it has nothing to do with that. Inflation is a function of supply and demand in the economy. If I, if I have more demand than I have supply, prices go up. If I have more supply than I have demand, prices go down. That's it. That's where inflation comes from. Uh, it's basic economics. So we had a period where we had no supply because we shut down the economy. We just injected trillions of dollars worth of capital. So everybody was out buying stuff because they had nothing else to do. They were locked up in their houses. So we had this big surge in inflation. Well, it just took longer for that money to come back out of the system because we gave people also no, no, pay, no rent payments. Uh, we had rent moratoriums. We had student debt loan payment moratoriums. We had you know, all kinds of credit card moratoriums. So nobody had to pay anything. And so all that support led to a, a period where inflation was higher, but inflation has been trending lower. We were at 9%. We're now down to 2.4. Um, the long-term historical norm of inflation going back to the turn of the century is 2.4%. So we're right in line with where inflation should be economic 